you know the deal. Smile. Uh, subscribe if you want. I talk about literally anything I want because I'm talking about Ruby Gilman Teenage Kraken and obviously no one on earth is talking about this movie. Well, I mean, I, okay, that's actually not true. I feel like it is getting snubbed. I mean, yes, it was a bad time to release because I'm, if I'm being honest, this year is like the year of movies for me. I'm like um, 80 for Brady, Joyride, Spider-Verse, a Barbie, like the Hunger Games movie, Five Nights at Freddy's, like movies are like, this is the year for movies. However, across the Spider-Verse and like um, Barbie are like sandwiching around Ruby Gilman, Teenage Kraken, and also the No Hard Feelings movie with Jennifer Lawrence came out like a week or so before that. And like, you know, that's, I mean, that's not child friendly, but like people are going to watch that more so than Ruby Gilman. When I went into the Ruby Gilman theater, it was my sibling and I, and then one other family. So people aren't talking about it, unfortunately. And I would, I kind of wanted to tweet about it and make some responses to some of the tweets that I've been seeing. But during that little bit, Elon Musk, I don't, I don't know if I'm like banned from commenting or something happened, but it normally notifies you if you like break a terms of service thing, but I can't comment. I can only like and retweet, but I am seeing a lot of praise for Ruby Gilman. And I'm going to like, I'll probably do some spoilers here in a little bit and in the end. And I'll do like a little faux vl vlog of being like, oh my gosh, I'm going to go watch Ruby Gilman. Tee -hee -hee. Um, at the very end too. But if I'm being super honest, the movie isn't like super remarkable, but I'm really hoping that it gets like the resurgence um, that Disney's Elemental gets at the very end of it. Like maybe right now it's not doing too good. I think it still might've beat The Flash for opening weekend. I'm hoping, unless that was like 50 million and it's doing like 10 times that worse than it. But it's, I would love for it to beat The Flash if anything. Um, If I'm being super honest though, the story isn't super remarkable. It's not anything different. It's not anything we haven't seen, but I do want to give like a horrible shout out to like a negative, like call out to the marketing team because the way they marketed this movie is so bad. And then there's like that little bit, um, there was nothing per in particular that was special about the marketing. And except for that one scene that they showed after like the original actual trailer and the trailer didn't show anything except for her being like, I'm a Kraken. Um, but there was that one scene where it showed her and the mermaid girl in the bathroom and G like uh, Ruby Gilman was like, I've been here my whole life. And I still don't fit in. You've been here for a day and like everybody loves you. Like I kind of like something about her being jealous about that. And then like you can see like the mermaid girl be like a little bit of like pity her a little bit. And then they like go sneak out or like have a girl's night or something. Um, everyone, it is so wild um, how much people need or crave or project things onto. I didn't like how everyone was like, oh my gosh, they're sapphic, or I hope they like fall in love, or like I hope it's pro-LGBT. And like, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I think it's cute and it's sad in the sense that like people project these things onto characters that you have know nothing about in the hope that it is something that you can um, grasp onto, you know, to represent you. It wasn't that. Um, the movie basically, if we're being honest, it's like a one-to-one -one almost to like the movie Turning Red by Disney. Um, but that was like a direct to, to the Disney Plus app. So obviously that's not doing that good. And then Pixar is, or not Pixar, it's Disney's Ele Elemental is in theaters and then it'll probably get more of a resurgence of like popularity once it is on um, streaming services. Though I think, I wanna hope Illumination puts this movie on streaming for Paramount. I don't know if it will. I don't know Illumination's like contracts or what they do. Um, hopefully it probably does get a lot of notoriety after the fact. The story isn't super particularly great. It's cute. In like the sense of turning red, it's a little different. Um, the Kraken thing is kind of like basically almost the same. It's not about like emotion. It's like if you get in the water, you're going to turn into a giant Kraken, which is weird. Um, but like Krakens are like historically supposed to protect the land people, I guess, or protect the seas. I don't know. There's not really much of an understanding of like the world underneath, except that there was like wars and right now Krakens are in charge. And... That isn't really what matters. I think this is like a cute, fun teen girl movie, if I'm being honest. Like, it's a girly teen girl movie. So, it's like, um, in the very beginning, it's like prom matters. She's like talking about this guy and she likes this guy and her friends are like edgy. One And they have like squad solidarity where they were all going to like not go in prom because it's like a post-colonial, like super patriarchal um, practice, which is like literally how teens talk. And I love that. Like, when you, when you think you're like smarter or cooler than everybody else, I love that. Um... And then they ended up going to prom and she's like, guys, what the heck? Like, I thought, I thought like, what happened to Squad Solidarity? And they're like, no offense, but like, this is prom. And like, yeah, we talked about not going and like Squad Solidarity. But since your mom prohibits you from doing things like near bodies of water and almost everything that we've done our whole lives, like 
going to the zoos, other stuff. Like, there was a bunch of trips that they listed. And, like, because they live right by the ocean side, there's, like, a bunch of things that were very sea-centric and, like, bodies of water friendly. Where she was like, you, we couldn't do anything because we stayed with you because we couldn't go towards, like, sea salt, basically. So we've missed out on a lot. Like, it's prom. And she was like, you know what? No, I get it. Fair. And she's like, how do I ask this guy to prom? And he also said it was, like, post-colonial, um, patriarchal upholding of, like, the status quo or whatever. But they were also both, like, kind of liking each other. Like, it was cute. And it was like, oh, my gosh. Like, I I was like, am I just reading into it and, like, mate that he likes her? Um, and, like, I'm just hoping that. And, like, from her perspective, you know, like, the teenage girl perspective, it's like, oh, my gosh, he, like, talked to me. Like, he likes me. He has such a crush on me. Um, but no, at the very end of the movie, sorry, spoiler, he did end up, like, wanting to ask her out. And, like, they were both trying to ask each other out. It's, it was so cute. It's so cute. I was like, ah! Like, I romance doesn't have to be involved in things like in turning red it wasn't they just like fangirled over uh, like the k-pop boys but i like when romance is involved and i think it's a it's like about high school prom something that matters to them you know it's fun it's cute um the the friends were awkward and weird and i love that like um one of the main ones she got asked to prom by this other girl they ended up going um the other two friends ended up going to prom together and one of them was like edgy goth the other guy was like emo gamer guy streams and it was fun um it's weird that i feel like they could have really if they wanted to do this they could have used the star studded cast that was like at least voice acting in it because jane fonda is one of them and like i'm a jane fonda stan now that i like i hadn't i didn't know anything about jane fonda before um sorry like i just don't watch my media but after, like, 80 for Brady, that came in February, mind you. So, like, again, year of movies. Nobody watched 80 for Brady but me. But year of movies, um, she was in 80 for Brady. And, and like, Jane Fonda's, like, really famous against, I guess, amongst white people. Like, she's, like, a household name. I didn't know that. But she was in it. She's a voice actress for the grandma. And then, like, yes, Emma Chamberlain didn't have, like, a major role. But Emma Chamberlain voice acted for, like, The Reporter. Which I think would be cool to, like, get just a couple people in there. Like, I feel like people don't support things that, like, intensely. So it would have just been, like, a cute thing to be, like, oh my gosh, like, Emma Chamberlain's in it. I'm gonna go watch it and see, like, what she sounds like or whatever. Like, it's her, like, I think, I want to believe it's her, like, voice acting debut. Um, I don't remember any of the other actors' names. Sorry. I don't know. I hope the movie gets more fame i'm seeing people like praise it or be like it's fun it's cute it was a good movie and it is like it's not it's not supposed to like last with you for the rest of your life i kind of do i i love it i think i will think about this movie for like a lot more than i think i i would have i went with like the expectation that i was like maybe i'm gonna feel bad and disappointed that i wasted my money on this movie or like it's just gonna be like oh haha i'm gonna go watch it and no one's watching it but like my sibling and i were like oh my god, like, wait, I love this movie. Like, I might genuinely buy this on, like, Blu-ray or, like, DVD after it comes out. Because I, like, I, I, like, the movie's good. Um, Turning Red was good. But I feel like something about this one felt more... I don't know. It was, like... Well, I mean, she's, since she's, like, a teenage crack and she's, like, more visually different and just thus more rec of a recluse. And then the mermaid character, she was, like, girly teen girl pop cunty baddie. I shouldn't say that word. Oh my god. I think you're not supposed to say that word on YouTube. Um, I don't, I'm not monetized. I don't care. Batty. Um, she was fun. She was like self-important. She was like cool, mean girl. And sorry to everyone who wanted her and like Ruby Gilman to be like sapphic and like in a relationship, but they weren't. But the movie's good. It's fun. It's not going to change your life. It's basically turning red. I hope it gets a lot more notoriety and like more people care about it. And it's like, it's also like a, just a kid's movie, you know, like don't, it's not, I feel like known IPs getting movies now is just a big thing that like is why people aren't watching movies that are just throw offs. If I'm being honest, I'm not saying like these movies are bad or like worthless or anything, but like, I mean, again, this year we have like Barbie across the spider verse, the hunger games, um, five nights at Freddy's. Like these are big names, a super Mario, you know, like big movies, big title cards are playing this year and it's just, like it's sad because these movies that are being thrown in between like all these like blockbuster names avatar 2 i didn't watch no avatar 2 let's be honest but avatar 2 like that was like that's been seven years in the making or 10 years i think and like this hunger games movie and like jennifer lawrence coming in to, for no hard feelings she hasn't acted in a movie like a blockbuster movie in like more than five years i think maybe maybe two three years i don't know i am not keeping up with jennifer lawrence that hard but Throwing these between, like, a year of, like, big movies 
is kind of like these movies were just being sent out to die if we're being honest um it's good it's fun i laughed in the theater the people the family the one family in front of me a couple rows ahead laughed in the theater it was fun um i would like i might buy it like i will probably buy it afterwards i'd like to watch it again but like next week or this week now joyride is coming out and i want to watch joyride joyride seems fun it has stephanie sue it's like a main it's, i think it's like a full asian cast again which super excited for love i love that i'm sure that's gonna be a lot of raunchy fun um but yeah watch the movie it's good i hope it gets the notoriety one it deserves later i hope it picks up like elemental does because so far from what i'm seeing word of mouth is like everyone's like it's a good movie it's cute it's fun um, some people are like, oh yeah, the marketing they did for it, I can even tell. As someone who wasn't even going to watch it, I was like, this movie spoils kind of like what the like conflict is going to be. And also just doesn't seem like they marketed it well. And like, it's true. I didn't, I didn't know what the movie was really going to be about. I mean, like, I guess I knew because like it showed like the main villain or whatever. But I was like, everything that happened in between just felt so nice. It was like so slice of life, you know. Um... So I'm sure hopefully it starts picking up. Unfortunately, I can't comment on people's Twitters and be like, oh my gosh, yeah, I really like this movie. But I went and left a review and I gave it like a four and a half stars. Like, I mean, it's a kid's movie. I'm not thinking too critically. I don't really, there's a lot, there's like, unless you're like a really bad, boring movie, I'm not gonna like you. I think everything on average, I will always be like a, at a three star or up for a movie unless you're really bad. Cause like Midsummer, I hated Midsummer. Midsummer was like a, like a two or one for me. And I don't rate movies that low. I'm like, so long as it's like, this just a, a different way to appreciate movies anyways and like this was funny it was cute it was wholesome it was like i loved how they did like the aquatic scenes um like it's fun movies can be fun like it's not supposed to be that deep it's not like you know i'm like i feel like i'd rate a lot of movies like three or low stars because they're just like it's been done it's the same message it's mostly cgi like i don't know like those are not you know so Kids movie, fun, watch it if you want to. I feel like more people are going to talk about it eventually. I can't comment and support. I just went, I could only just rate the movie and be like, oh my gosh, this is a good movie. So hopefully if it's on Paramount it eventually people start talking about it. I know that doesn't really happen in the long run, but at least people will care about it. Maybe it'll be a kid's movie that some kid just relates to and it changes his life and it makes him feel more confident and helps them have like a better dynamic with their mom and they're like, when they're going through their brooding and edgy, like, I gotta hide things from my parents kind of way. I just hope it helps people. I don't know. At the end of the day, you know, maybe that's just a nice thing. That's just, maybe it makes a little difference in the long run. So, I don't know. It's a movie. Hopefully, you know, like, I feel like we need to get off our nostalgia lens. And like kids, if like, if you have kids now, have movies. Oh my gosh, The Little Mermaid 2. Sorry. <laughs> but I think we just, if you think about it, like, from a, like, distant way, like, new movies come out all the time. Things like Norma the North, which no one watched. But, like, you know, for kids who are growing up now, I feel like that'd be a movie that they'd be like, oh my gosh, I really like this movie. Like, you know, like The Minions and, like, Hotel Transylvania. It's not something that you're gonna like. Or, like, the animated, um, The Adams Family. I think, not too critically, it's fun if you take your kid. If, like, if your kid wanted to watch it, go watch it. It's nice. It's just something you can do together. It's a good movie. It's cute. It's fun. You'll laugh probably a couple times. It's silly. You know growing like if i watched this growing up i'd be like that was a good movie that was really fun um as an adult it was also pretty fun because i'm not like a cynic i'm not a film reviewist i'm not that critical so i don't know but bye ruby gilman teenage kraken fit